I'll be reviewing the 2023 Rollins Cloud One Piece Alloy, and we're just gonna take a few cuts off the tee and get a bunch of different people's feedback. So first, I'll take about five cuts off the tee, and then we'll have some other people. So it's gonna be really loud, as you can see. I like the color of it, the blue, and the, there's a little bit of red on it. It's a 31 drop eight. So it's a little, I use a really deep, so it's a little bit short. But yeah, it's, it's the optics. So it's really loud. It's maybe slightly end loaded. So you can feel a little bit more width behind it. But you choke up on this, it feels a little more balanced. But it's just a slightly, slightly end loaded. But it's very, very loud. It's more end loaded yeah. or more <laughs> um, balanced. End loaded, probably. How do you like the sound in the sweet spot? What's your current gamer bat? My current gamer bat is the Cat9 Connect. How do, how do you think it compares? So Connor, how would you rate this bat out of 10? I rate this bat a nine out of 10, and I really like the bat in general, and it hits really well. So, so how would you rate this bat out of 10? I'd rate it an eight, because like I'm, this is like a contact hitter, or a power hitter, and I'm a contact hitter, and but I like the colors a lot, and if you're a power hitter, I think it would be good for you. So how would you rate this bat out of 10 in total? I would probably rate this bat probably like an eight out of 10, big sweet spot, and I love the colors. So overall, I think this bat is great. I give it maybe a 7.5 out of 10. I like the I like the feel of it. The grip is a little slick and it's a little bit of a thin handle. The knob here is a little a little thin, but it has like a tiny little taper at the end, barely noticeable. I like the texture and the color. It looks nice, almost like if you took the blue and stuff away, it almost looks like a wood bat. 
this the overall look of it. I also like the red accents up here. I agree it's a little bit it's a little bit light for a drop eight, but I think it's close. Like I think it's pretty good for a drop eight. It has a relatively small sweet spot in my opinion. It's more for a power hitter than a contact hitter. And overall, yeah, I think it's pretty great bat. I mean, if you're looking for a one-piece alloy bat, I would definitely go with this. But if you're looking for a better bat, just like an overall contact power for everything, I would go something with like the Zoa or the Icon especially. Next, another time I'll be doing the review on the Icon, and that will hopefully be my new gamer this year. This, um, this will be like a team bat, a cold weather bat. So yeah, overall I like it. Thanks for watching, and I'm Luke the Catcher.